Greetings, I am the wrestling fan. I may not be the best wrestling fan, but I am the finest. Batman the Animated Series. Avatar The Last Airbender. The Simpsons. South Park. Just four of the greatest animated series of all time. Now, does Hulk Hogan's Rock and Wrestling deserve to be included in that type of list? Nope. We're now on episode six, and it starts with a live action portion. Fancy! Roddy Piper acts rowdy against a woman whose car broke down, and Roddy acts like I do when I try to fix my car. Yes, hello? You gas, get in there! Yet Roddy is able to use his unknown magical powers to fix the damn vehicle. Yo ho! Car! Start! Now! <laughs> I actually thought he threw up the double bird here. I mean, it's Roddy Piper. He's not gonna give a shit if it's a kid's cartoon. So we get to the cartoon portion, which is small, but mighty. That's what I've told any woman that I've gone on a date with. It's small, but mighty. I'm talking about my dick. We open on Junkyard's Junkyard, and JYD and Tito Santana are cooking up a mushroom cloud. Oops, I guess I shouldn't have had the pepper so close to the uranium. Hillbilly Jim's pet thing isn't feeling well, but has something that might help. But well, this ought to fix him up. That's definitely pot. The pet thing escapes, and the not bag of weed flies into Junkyard's chili. And he doesn't notice. He's probably too tired to notice because he's been selling bowling balls all day. They find the pet outside in Hulk's Hulkmobile, and everyone goes inside to enjoy the chili. <coughs> <coughs> Some goons are messing with the Hawkmobile, but the gang has bigger problems because of the not bag of weed. What's going on? I feel really weird. We're kids again. That doesn't make sense. Okay, seriously. What the shit is in that bag? It's a mystery wrapped in a riddle inside an enigma. I want my mama. This part actually makes me laugh, though. Nobody ripped off my wheels. I just had an epiphany. Maybe this cartoon should have been the wrestlers as little kids. Kind of like the Little Rascals. The Little Wrestlers! <laughs> Lil Hulk tries to fight the goons, but... He's just a little guy! And they get away with the Hulkmobile. We've got to call the cops. Come on! Well, I guess somehow becoming children made them more intelligent because they've never gone to the police this early in an episode before. Some kid trying to pull a prank. And get this, he says he's Hulk Hogan. This can't be Hulk Hogan because he only calls to try and get us to arrest Junkyard Dog. Mortimer! Who's gonna stop me? <laughs> Will you two stop acting like kids? <sighs> Thank God little Wendy was there to break that up. That was almost a bloodbath. So the little wrestlers decide to go after the crooks and formulate a plan while also changing clothes. We finally found some clothes for the rest of the guys, Hulk. Wait, why does Junkyard just have a bunch of kids' clothes and kids' costumes just laying around? The hell has he been up to? The gang search around town and find where the bad guys are. Him, really? You don't notice a bunch of kids just sitting on a big ass bench on the beach reading a bunch of phone books? The little wrestlers follow the thieves to the Hulkmobile. What say we take it for a test drive? <laughs> that wasn't a laugh. I have COVID. <laughs> I love that line. <laughs> ah, an alarm! As car thieves, we've never come across such a thing. The gang gets caught by the cops as we get another live action portion. Me and Gene here along with Captain Lou Elpano. I don't like that he keeps rubbing himself. Also, I'm pretty sure Captain Lou says Andre the Vagina here. You got Tito Santella, and you've got the Andre Vagint. Remember with my little rubber ducky, I gotta take a bath. Well, I can understand. Won't somebody please think of the children? Fuck it. <sighs> oh, I've never been so happy to get back to the cartoon portion. The gang try to explain what's going on, but the cops don't believe them. And this cop's voice changes for some reason. Four 
Besides, that's enough. I want your names, your real name. I understand. You kids are playing some kind of game. I got nothing. The little wrestlers escape police custody, which is a great lesson for the kids watching. The police are bad, and if they do arrest you, run! They return to the junkyard to try and figure out where the goons are hiding and make a call. Joe's garage. Hotwire? He's not here right now. You want to leave a message? Did this guy learn how to talk to people by watching the room? He's not here right now. You want to leave a message? How much is it? It'll be $18. You go. Keep the change. Hi, doggy. Anyway, how is your sex life? You know, the time it took to build a car, you probably just could have walked there. Can I build a life? We're coming, Mortimer! Look out, goons! I'm sorry. What did he say? Look out, goons! One more time. Look out, goons! Today's word of the day, kids, is cunts! Make sure and say it in front of your mommy, especially when there are strangers around, so they can judge. <laughs> that was a good joke. If I ever find those little brats again, I'll change my voice for a third time. That'll teach them. And they're after us. We can't stop now. Yeah, kids, if the cops ever pull you over, don't stop. It's going to work out really well for you. That's just... Stupid. The little wrestlers find the thieves and the Hulkmobile at a chop shop, and they fight off the baddies. My mama always said never turn in a false alarm. Well, what the fuck does that mean? The police show up, but that one cop still doesn't believe our little heroes. I think they really are telling the truth. Oh, I guess they are at that. The episode's almost out of time, so sure, why not? Well, that's, that's great, Mazel tov, but who's the father? Hillbilly Jim, I asked you a question. Our heroes suddenly turn back into adults because reasons, and the episode comes to an end. I actually really enjoyed this episode of Hulk Hogan's Rock and Wrestling, like a lot. I think it's my favorite so far, and the only negative is that they didn't make this cartoon into the wrestlers as little kids. The little wrestlers. I want the little wrestlers, damn it! But regardless, like I said, my favorite episode so far, one that I would actually re-watch. And I can't believe I'm freaking saying that. But, five out of five. I hope you enjoyed the episode. I'm the wrestling fan, and I will still be the wrestling fan in the next video. Hope to see you then. Quiet on the set.